Welcome to our channel. Why Cody Brown's Coyote Pass might have to be sold. For years, Cody Brown has been serving up a piping hot dream of polygamy that has gone quite cold after losing three wives due to his lack of personality. The father of 18 forced his sister wife's family to move from their comfy cul-de-sac in Las Vegas to four spread out homes in Flagstaff, Arizona on a whim. It never felt as if any of the women wanted to move to Arizona, with the exception of Robin Brown. However, all were promised space on Coyote Pass, land that the Browns bought to build their Mecca. The plural family splashed out $820,000 only to risk losing their property very soon. The Dream of Coyote Pass The original inspiration behind Coyote Pass was a mix between their hold plural home in Lehi, Utah, and Las Vegas. Cody knew he was losing control of his marriages and offered up a plan to build one big home on their multi-parcel acreage. However, none of his wives wanted to live under the same roof. The land was purchased in 2018, with the initial plan being that each wife build their own home. Cody dropped a bomb, noting that he wanted his own space too, and would be building his own cabin. The arguing started pretty quickly as each wife vied for a prime position on the land. Mary Brown was set back in the trees, Janelle Brown had access to the pond, and Christine became jaded by the dream. Do the Browns own Coyote Pass? The family has yet to build and actually owes money. Together, the family owned 14 acres, with Cody explaining during an episode that the size of each parcel didn't matter because each was appraised at the same value. However, when Christine Brown left the family, she sold her parcel back to Cody for just $10. The Sun then reported in June that Janelle and Cody had paid off two parcels of Coyote Pass for the amount of $340,000, even though they split in January 2023. There is trouble in Coyote Pass paradise. You can imagine how Sister Wives fans were surprised to learn that even though Janelle and Cody have paid off their and Robin's parcel, the family is still at risk of losing the land. As the Thanksgiving holiday approached, In Touch reported that Cody was behind $4,858.73 in property taxes owed. The 54-year-old is listed as the owner of five parcels.